Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we want to see about a new library called as Podem. Podem stands for Pojo Data Maker, right? So it's a very cool library. Previously, I was using something called as Fixture Factory to to basically create random Pojos, which means Pojos with some random values, right? So in test automation, particularly in REST issue uh, or or whatever the API automation. Even in web mobile automation, we might need POJOs uh, with random values, right? Just want to fill employee data or student data. Uh, we don't really care about what are the values inside them, but we just we want to create some values. I think this is one of the best library that I have seen so far. Uh, like it can uh, help us to remove the use of faker. But again, if you want to use faker, you can do that. But you know, if you use faker, we have to put a lot of efforts. Uh, for example, we need to build the POJO using builder pattern and then also club it with faker, right? So that's how expensive piece of operation it is. But with Podem, it is going to be just a single line that, you know, we're going to write and the implementation is will also be very cleaner. Uh, we will see that in detail. Also, this is going to help you to fill your POJOs with random values. Let's say if you have string, it, it's going to fill with random string values. Again, you also get an option to customize the string values that are ge getting generated. Not just string values, what are the values that you want to fill? We can customize them. You know, we have an option to customize. Again, the implementation is very clean. Um, so again, guys, without wasting a lot of time, let's get into uh, the IntelliJ, all right? So I already have created a few POJOs just to save some time. For example, I have a student POJO that consists of ID, first name, last name, address. And then if you notice, this is a list of string, uh, which is basically an array, JSON array. Um, and then we also have a map that, that takes key as integer and value of string, right? Um, again, if you notice, there is uh, this is a nested JSON. So you have an address object inside a student object, right? So, so if you go inside address, it has just street number and the door number of long type. So I'm just trying to pick a very random JSON that covers all the scenarios, right? That's my, that's my whole agenda. And also, I also have another class called as employee uh employee pojo with a with a generic type for example the type will be decided during the runtime based upon the user requirement in this case um you know we may pass it a string or integer but you know passing an integer for name or last name doesn't feel so good but you know just for an example i'm trying to use uh t as generic here and how we can use this right so so this is the whole requirement so let's go here and uh, let's try to fill or create first the student pojo right uh, in the conventional way if you are if you are doing the conventional way we have to put a lot of efforts like you know student dot a builder dot and then we have to fill all these things right so last name is this so we are writing this code so last name first name so we have to write this piece of code uh, which which is what i hate right we don't want to do that so at the end we have to put call the build method and then we can build the student also so this is how we have to do it but instead of this right uh, there is a class called as podem factory from this library so we can create an instance of it so podem factory impl right so this is the by default implementation it uh, you know so this is the implementation again you can also try to have your anonymous class implementation but you know it's better that we uh, have can use the default implementation from there so you all you have to do is factory dot uh, there is a, something called as manufacture POJO. So you are trying to manufacture a POJO. Okay, there are two uh, methods here, manufacture POJO and manufacture POJO with full data. Again, uh, there is a small difference in this. Uh, manufacture POJO will use your uh, all arguments constructor or the, or the constructor that you have and try to fill them. Okay, and then the remaining values you can fill using setter methods. Okay, but manufacture POJO with full data, which means it will use uh, the full data uh, the all arguments constructor and then it will you know it will fill all the values by default we don't have to worry about it for now just use manufacture pojo and then simply mention student the class that's it so it's as simple as that we don't have to worry about anything else let's try to run this uh, stuff and then see how this works um, let's quickly run this Again, guys, I'm trying to uh, use the latest UI from uh, IntelliJ. It might look awkward, but if you notice here, um, so we have student, uh, the random value is generated as almost 10 digits, right? So 
and then you have random first name last name you have address fields all are generated again jobs we have list of string for the jobs and then you know it, it just uses some random values to fill them like same as the case for map you have integer and then you have uh, you know the string value as key so, so the value so now i want to customize this something you know i don't want to create something like this uh, i want to customize it okay you can do it so for int field i want to uh, apply podum int value so this is an integer field so you can use an annotation called as podum int value and then you can say a uh, minimum value that i want to use is 10 and then the maximum value that i want to use is 100 so whenever it creates an id field for you it just creates a number it just picks a number from 10 to 100 instead of very long digits right you can also say uh, the length uh, i think it should be length or whatever uh, yeah you can also pass num value but yeah but in this case the minimum value and maximum value can help you to uh, generate numbers between certain ranges okay and then for example in case of first name i want to have a podum string value and then i can control the string length uh, again guys you can hard code the string value let's say if i do something like this every time you generate a pojo it will hard code this with uh, student for example i will go here and quickly run this okay if your requirement so if you notice first name is testing it is hard coded okay it won't randomly pick a value for it and then uh, if you notice the id is from 10 to 100 so it basically uh, helps you to customize your pojos apart from that let's say if you don't do this if you don't do this you can have other options like let's say length so i want the length of the string to be generated as six so i can have a little bit of customization more than still i'm not happy with the customization then you can also go for even more customization by using an external class uh, to 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 define how this field has to be populated so for example i have a field called as name strategy so these guys have a uh, attribute strategy uh, you know if you go here it's an interface uh, that accepts a generic and if you go here i'm just implementing it once you implement it will ask you how you want to do this how you how do you want me to manage this first name for you and then i say hey there is a imagine there are three digits you know you can use faker here okay it's up to you but what i want to do is i want to pick any one value from this i'm just using stream here but you can also hard code it you can also let's say in your case you want to append all these things with f at the beginning you can also do that but yeah it's your customization in this case i'm just choosing uh, to choose a value from these three values right you can also use faker here and then you can use new faker dot first name so that the names are uh are real names right it won't be like a b c d e f g it will be like james michael and then something like that right so you can customize them again you can also combine this with both uh faker if you want good now if you once you do that you can simply say uh, I, I want to use a uh, strategy right and then the strategy can be seen podium st strategy right strategy value and then here i can simply say uh, so value equal to uh, whatever the name strategy class so this is the strategy i want you to follow to fill this right so in this case it makes no sense to keep this length as fixed right because this is controlled by name strategy and we will leave it to that um, let's go here and quickly run it and see if it is picking anyone from uh, any one of these three so if you notice the first name is picked from uh, as testing uh, because we have testing here so it picks a random value from there and also uh, when we run it uh, it filled it with you know this uh, jobs field is being filled uh, with five elements right so i want to control a collection so in those cases you can use podum podum collection okay and then you can say number of elements and then by default it is two you can customize to generate just two elements again it can also uh, you know follow the strategy here if you want you know so there is map element strategy uh, map key strategy whatever you want to use it uh, you can use them like in your case if you want to use the jobs to use also use this thing 
um it can simply say collection element strategy how you want to uh, what strategy you want to use here i simply want to use the same strategy for the first name right so that it you know uses that again guys map you can also customize them you can also customize the key here you can also customize the value all you can have to do is use podium collection and then you can try to map key strategy and then you can have a class that defines the strategy for you and put it there so that it uses that right so in this case maybe i'll just use number of elements as two so yeah so it's up to you how do you want to uh, do that right in sometimes you want to exclude your you know you want to you don't want podium to populate a value for a field in those cases you can add podium exclude so in those cases it won't populate a value for last name okay so let's try to run it and then see what's happening so if you notice last name uh i think it is still getting populated uh maybe a bug there uh but it shouldn't be the case um i think uh okay if there is a value already set to this i think it will exclude it but if, it, if there is no value i think it will still populate uh let's try to understand that with a simple example for example i have a student or jason where the id field is this and the first name is this but all other field so this is a similar to this right so you have id field first name last name address but these two values i want to use from here okay this is how we normally use in test automation right in rest assured we may have some static fields and some of the fields we want to populate randomly in those cases you can use this so how you can do again instead of creating the whole pojo yourself you could simply do a uh, new uh, object mapper so i am trying to uh, map the json to a particular pojo so read value uh, and then i can simply pass the file so so the file is something i can define here file equal to new file and then you can give the path that is basically uh, your current work directory and then is or c slash test slash resources and uh, then you can you can say student dot json right in the resources folder it's student dot json this is the file that i want to read with so i can simply pass the file here and then i want to convert this to student dot class right that's very important once you do that if this is student one you can also do student one dot assault right so so let's try to run it and then this time the student one will only have two fields right it won't have all the fields quickly run it uh, and then it's saying hey i could not find this file it's or see test resources and then there is a plus which which ah, i don't know how this plus came but you know let's remove this and then let's also quickly run it cannot construct instance of a student i think the default constructor is not present let's go here and then remove this builder uh, this should have the default constructor let's try to do it again So if you notice now it has populated this but not the other fields right the other fields are empty because it doesn't know how to do it so in this case i want to populate the other fields with random values okay so that's what we're going to do uh, let's go to the student class and then let's put do podium exclude okay and then here also let's add podium exclude if you're going to exclude it and then there is no reason why you want to define all these things let's do that let's go here and uh, i simply say uh, factory dot populate pojo there we are manufacturing a pojo here we are populating the pojo so the pojo here uh, the object here is student one and then i simply give that okay once i do this it is basically going to give me student two uh, s out student two right let's try to run it So this time it should populate the remaining values but not the first name and id 
So if you guys notice, phi and testing is hot coded, but the other values are filled randomly. And this is what we normally use in our uh, rest assured or test automation, right? We want random values uh, sometimes and we want static values sometimes, right? So you can use this thing. But apart from that, you could also do a little bit of extra thing. Uh, for example, the employee class here is a generic type, right? So, so whenever you are trying to create an object for this, uh, you have to, uh, let's close all the tabs. Uh, instead of all these things, maybe I'll remove all of that. So whenever you create, trying to create a factory dot populate, sorry, manufacture pojo, right? And then you can simply say employee dot class, right? Employee dot class. And then you, you can pass the type here. So the type is an is a variable arguments. So I simply say in this case, I want to pass string dot class. Okay. Okay. Because sometimes uh, you can accept t comma u and then this can be of u type. Okay. Maybe this both are both are same, both can be same, uh, or sometimes it can be integer. For example, I can put it as id and then I can add a comma and then say integer dot class, which makes a lot of sense. That, that's it. Once you introduce a new local variable, uh, you can basically print it, right? And that's that's the power of Podem, right? You can do a lot of things with Podem. Uh, one of them is, is populating your values, customizing your values. If you notice employee, the first name is of string, the ID is of uh, integer class, right? So this is how you can also populate a POJO, generic POJO and POJOs, and you can use them in your test automation. I hope this video will be useful. Please do share it with your friends. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and, and leave your feedback in the comments. Thanks.